YouTube. We back at another video. Make sure I like, comment, subscribe, share the video. No cap. Um, just got out of school, so I said I was going to show y'all, like, start my day off at school to show y'all what that consists of. So according to what I know as of right now, we're supposed to be in the shop a little more often. He just said today that they added a lot of classwork to this um, to this mod, so even though it's going to, he said they're trying to make it class, like classroom heavy, but he's going to try to get us in the shop as much as possible. So we're going to see, we're going to see, honestly. But uh, yeah, man, other than that, finna go in there and see what we got going on. I want to see if there's anything on the board. Uh, I wanted to address a comment. Dude was like something about, you might still work on your own car because most techs are somebody from Lincoln Tech that don't know what they're doing. Um, I ain't saying he all the way wrong, but currently where I work at right now, as far as all the main shop people, none of them went to Lincoln Tech. The only people that went to Lincoln Tech is that's in there is me and one other guy that just recently graduated. And Eli pretty smart. So it's just really up to the individual. It ain't really Lincoln Tech, I one thing I can say, Lincoln Tech don't really not gonna teach you. If I didn't work in the field and go go to Lincoln Tech at the same time, like if I only went to Lincoln Tech. It, it probably would have looked bad for me going to a shop because they would have been looking at me like, I thought you just got out of school because Lincoln Tech alone, I'm going to be honest, they don't prepare you for the, uh, like, working in, in the dealership or whatever. So it's really just up to the the individual ultimately. But, yeah, I'm going to get back with y'all. Hey, I'm just going to show you about the oil change, the time rotation for one. I already, well, yeah, I already dropped the oil, but I had checked the first off the gas. Now I'm going to just rotate the wheels and pull oil in the car. It's hard to add it all. I just sent the filter in and I'm gonna see if they get it. Wrong way and I'm gonna filter to get complete. I just hopped in, put the sticker in, reset the oil light, you know, just to make sure, because we all do things in different orders. So whenever I go behind somebody, I just have to check everything. But yeah. Are you too wide to replace the uh, filter on that transit? It's nothing on the board right now. One day, I'm gonna do it quick enough to record it for y'all, because I'll be trying to show y'all. It'd be a little task for every time. I don't know why. Like by this point, I'll be thinking it'll get a little bit easier, but every time it's just a, I either struggle getting it out or I struggle getting it in. Like it don't take too long, but it take like five, 10 minutes. And normally a filter will take like 10, 20 seconds, you know? So that's the only difference for real. But other than that, oh yeah, and then back when I was saying I double check everything after going to somebody else, that's if I forget to ask them if they did this or if they did that. So yeah. Uh, and also I got a new tool coming in, so I'm gonna show that to y'all. Well, I, it already came. I'm gonna show that to y'all at some point throughout this video. But yeah, stay tuned. You too, so we got a works package on this uh, escape. Um, let's say customer state uh, brakes was done here recently, and they hear a hard knock when the brakes are depressed. I just checked the service history. I ain't the one that did them, so I'm just see what's going down. I'm gonna put it in the air, go into the oil change, tire rotation, then I'm gonna test drive it. Normally I would do that first, but I ain't the one that did it, so I'm gonna just do the worst package first. Let old dude know that that's on the ticket. Well, I might figure out there's something else while I got it in the air, honestly, because a hard knock, I ain't never heard of that type of sound coming from brakes, so it might not even have anything to do with the brakes, but we're gonna see.
I'm gonna tell y'all I don't think it's the brakes. Y'all probably can't hear it, but try to listen for it. I think it's a CV axle, but I'm gonna get somebody from the main shop to confirm that because we're not able to diag it, but we're gonna see y'all. You too, and I just got an oil change. Uh, hold on, let me mop this door real quick. That's shit, let me stop the miles on it. 107,000 miles on, we might get a filter or some brakes out of this. We'll see. Depending on what the service history look like, but it turns out I was wrong about that CV axle. Um, according to what uh, one of the techs told me, that's how they're supposed to sound. So, yeah, I just learned something new. Comment down below if y'all know. Mm -hmm. I, I would take his word for it though, because he know a lot. So yeah, but according to what he said, that's how they supposed to sound. I didn't know they had a little clicking noise, so you know that was good to know, I guess. Uh, well, not I guess, but that was good to know. So next time I pull a car in, I'll do that same thing and see if I hear it or not. But I'm pretty sure he was right, but it ain't nothing wrong with figuring it out for myself to confirm it. So let me get back with y'all. Recommended a filter on this truck and it got a bad oil leak. I'm gonna show it to y'all after I get done dropping the oil. Another thing, comment down below, honestly, y'all, uh, if y'all don't know that's what a CD actually is supposed to sound like. I'm just curious. It's like, even if I didn't have y'all to comment down below, I would just wait till I get another car again and see if it does that. Let me get back with y'all. The oil leak look right there. Uh, this was all, uh, it was caked up as well, but I cleaned it off from the oil that was coming out when I drained it. So, uh, yeah. I want to get to the point where I can look at this stuff and tell y'all where it's coming from. So, like, I'm not tripping or not. Like, I know it's got to be somewhere on the bottom because it's only at the bottom. It's, it's, it's good at the top, but I just can't. I don't know, I'm just not able to look at it and be able to tell. Or maybe I'm just thinking like maybe it could be that front cover shit like he said last time who knows I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but if y'all was wondering why I kept turning the wheel back and forth, I heard a noise. I try to like, try to do as much as I can to see if I can hear something while I'm pulling the car in, because there's been occasions where a car is making noise, and I can't say for sure if it was happening before I brought it in, so now I tend to make sure that I notice it. So to save myself some time when I actually finish doing something, like, well really I'm just talking about brakes, honestly, like, if you do some brakes and you didn't notice it was annoying the day before, you gotta go test drive it, come back, put it in the air to make sure it wasn't nothing you did. But if you know it's making noise before you touched it, you can already document that and it'll cover you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. 
if I could find, if I could try to verify that there's no noise or if there is noise before I take the car if I can. changing the oil. This is the noise it was making. I don't know if y'all can hear it. It's hard to... Is it supposed to sound that bad? And I can't be turning the wheel for y'all and hold it at the same time. I hope y'all can hear that. I did the best I can, but comment down below if y'all know what that is. So, yeah. It kind of sounded like it did on that car earlier. I said that's how they supposed to sound. It might be a little bit worse on this one, because you can hear it tick when you turn it. I'm gonna try to see if I can get it to do the same thing once I uh, once I let the car down. So y'all can hear it. It's really going tick, 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 tick. But I just listen to it myself. Y'all ain't gonna be able to hear it over the recording. But maybe one of y'all will know what I'm talking about. I don't know. I'm also looking at the tire because they got a rip on the sidewall that's showing wires. So I doubt they'll get it. But worst case scenario, they do. All I gotta do is put it on the jack. So yeah. Yep, they already. They already. See, it's already. It's already not approved. So I'm gonna close this out. It's 545. Nine times out of 10, I'll just be getting back with y'all. Once I'm on the way to the crib or heading out. All right, YouTube, I'm about to show y'all the new tools. I, well, not new tools, but the wrenches I got whatever, just came in a day. So I got the 21 millimeter, 22 millimeter wrenches. YouTube, that's going to conclude this video. Make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the video on your cap. Uh, as y'all can see, I got those wrenches that I just showed y'all. Um, and I believe that might be the last thing I get from Snap-on, maybe, because I was thinking about getting the box, but hear me out, the only reason I was thinking about getting the box is because if I get the box for 3000 which is like 50, 60% off, uh, we automatically get a trade-in value of 7000 so it's kind of like I flip my money, if I get what I'm saying, that's the only reason I'm even thinking about it, but, uh, other than that, I believe I probably like, I probably either wait till after school or like a week before school. My last, you know what I'm saying, my last, like the last week of school, go to Harper Freight and just get like pry bars. Cause I already got one pry bar, but I don't, I only got a big one, I don't have the other sizes. I still have yet to get a hammer. I've been saying I needed a hammer forever. I still don't got one, all I got is a mallet. Uh, yeah, just little stuff like that. I also wanted to touch up on what I was talking about in the beginning video as far as like Lincoln Tech students. Uh, I had a teacher say it's students like ruining, I had to make sure I was still recording, it's students that's ruining Lincoln Tech reputation. But I honestly disagree. Like I don't all the way, dis I disagree to a certain extent as far as they sell people on saying the school is 80% hands on, 20% classroom when it's the total opposite so if you're somebody like me that had no experience prior if you just went to Lincoln Tech and didn't work in the field at all and you got out of school got you a job at a dealership I guarantee you they're gonna be looking at you like are you sure you went to school because Lincoln Tech just doesn't they don't meet the expectations that they set before you go you know so and the reason I say it's up to the individual because just because Lincoln Tech ain't just because Lincoln Tech ain't what they say, you know what I'm saying, they don't live up to the expectations that they made or whatever. It's still up to you to, you know what I'm saying, um, learn things and things like once you realize that and that's that's out of your control, just try to learn things on your own or whatever, I guess. You know what I'm saying? Like today uh, we had to we got to do this basics. We got to do these sheets, whatever, just to prove that we know how to do these things that they quote unquote taught us throughout school. Cause they were saying, I'm making sure I'm still recording y'all. They were saying there's people getting out of Lincoln Tech, going to work and don't know how to change oil or rotate the tires. 
You get what I'm saying? Like, how can you blame that on the student? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's 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 one of the most simplest things ever. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you you paying forty, thirty, forty thousand for a program and you getting out of there and you can't change oil or tires, like that got to be the, that. Got, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't get me wrong. You got to hold yourself accountable, but as as some as to a certain extent, it's like they paid y'all thirty, forty thousand. How are y'all letting them leave school without knowing how to change oil? Or change tires, and if it's not just one student, it can't. Y'all can't just say it's the students every time. Like comment down below if y'all get where I'm coming from. So, what I can honestly say is, if I didn't work at Ford and uh and go to school at the same time, it probably wouldn't be so gravy for me coming from somebody who didn't touch a car prior to coming to Tennessee. You know what I'm saying? Like, and the reason I say is, it's up to the individual because I already had my mind set up to where I wanted to do. My, my first day here, I already had my job interview. If y'all didn't know, my first job here was at Jiffy Lube. So by the time I got to Ford, I already knew how to... Well, ro even though I never touched a car, rotating tires is common sense. Take the lug nuts on. You know, like, I'm not the type of person to say everything is common sense, but come on, rotating tires, you literally take the lug nuts off. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that should be common sense. Um, and then, like, I knew... I knew how to, I never changed oil before, but I had an idea of what you had to do. Like, I knew it was a drain plug. I just didn't know where it was at. So when I first got the Jiffy Lube, I'm like, oh, that's a drain plug right there. All right, bet. So now, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just, I, I was never, I never had too much pride to say I didn't know how to do something. So that's kind of the steps I took. So that's why I could say it's up to the individual. But it's some of the things that these shops want to expect students to know coming out of school. And they can take down really, they can take down really teach that. So what I mean by it's up to the individual, you really got to apply yourself and put yourself in a position to not be like those students that come out of school and you got jobs looking at you like, are you sure you went to school? You know, so that's how I feel about that, man. I ain't really, you know what I'm saying? I ain't really, yeah, that's how I feel about that whole little thing right there. But uh, other than that, man, I appreciate the support. You know what I'm saying? Y'all continue to leave y'all comments down below. I really want to know about that CV Axel, man. I really do. So comment down below that as well. Like, is it supposed to sound like that? The guy that told me it's supposed to sound like that, he know his stuff, so I really believe him. But I just want to hear other people's opinion as well. Because I just never... I don't know. Now, that second car, that I heard something. Y'all just couldn't hear it. That second car, when I was turning, it was going tink, tink, tink. But the first car, I only heard it when I was putting it in the air and I was rotating the tire, like, boom, 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 boom. But he said that's what the CV axle was supposed to do. So, yeah, man, comment down below what y'all think that is. And if y'all was watching all the way through, comment down below if you think that um, that uh, oil leak that I sold y'all was at a front cover seal as well. You know? I be showing y'all this stuff because I'm trying to learn. If we don't, if, if they don't get it diagged in there, I don't be knowing. I'm trying to get to the point where I can look at something like, oh, yeah, that's the problem. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's the whole point of even being in this, you know? So, yeah, man, uh, I just like to learn. Like, I don't like being complacent. If I got, if it's an opportunity to learn something, I want to learn it, even if it might be uncomfortable. You know what I'm saying? Because you're doing something for the first time. I don't care. I be wanting to learn. That's what I be on. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I just went on a whole little rant or whatever. But, yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Stay blessed. Stay focused. Have a good day. Always remember your why. It's your boy Kendra 1K, and I'm out.